हेलो वन वेलकम टू पॉट हंड्रेड सिक्सटी नाइन ऑफ मल्टी वनर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट दैट वी आर मेकिंग इन लारवल नाइन एंड इट विल आल्सो वर्क इन लारवल टेन सो वी विल कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन दी वेबसाइट सिक्योरिटी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रवेंट डिसेबल्ड कैटेगरी प्रोडक्ट्स टू ऑर्डर एंड विल आल्सो रिजोल्व फ्यू ऑफ द मोर बग्स ओके सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डन दी वेबसाइट सिक्योरिटी पॉइंट्स एंड वी एबल टू प्रवेंट disable products to order and we able to prevent out of stock products to order and one more thing we able to prevent we able to prevent disabled attributes to order okay this one also we have done we have able to prevent disabled attributes to order so we need to make sure that uh, the user uh, orders for the uh, products that are available okay the user must not order for the products that are not available otherwise it will be a big issue for the client for the uh shopkeeper for the uh, like uh, website owner okay so uh, here as well we are going to do some of the website security points like i have told you that we are going to prevent disabled categories products to order what it means like uh, if the user add one of the item uh, like if i will add t-shirt from the t-shirts category okay uh, like i'm going to add one of the t-shirt here small t-shirt i have added and here you can see and this small t-shirt belongs to the t-shirt category i am going to proceed to check out and i am going to select one of the address and i am ready to place order then what happen before placing the order this t-shirts category disabled by the owner by the uh, website owner okay so the t-shirt category disabled i'm going to open the admin panel and will disable the t-shirt category even after disabling the t-shirt category the user can able to place the order and that is wrong okay so user must get the message that the product is not available now okay uh, like if i am going to disable the t-shirt category uh, here uh, see uh, where it is here it is t-shirt category is disabled you can see i am going to disable this t-shirt categories shirts categories and whatever it is related to the men category also so all the categories related to the t-shirts are disabled it's it's main category it's sub category everything has been disabled so now in this case if the user will place the order then the issue must come that the category that the product is disabled or whatever you want to give message to the user but here right now i'm going to place the order and you can see i can able to place the order and it will take few seconds uh, as it is sending the email as well to the user but uh, the main thing is we able to place the order that uh, order uh, that product that is not available right now so what uh, see user uh, the client will send the email to the user or call the user and will say uh, that the product is not available so it will make the bad impression of the website and the brand okay so we need to make sure that the disabled uh, products or disabled category products uh, must not get any kind of order okay so we are going to create one function first of all like we created the another function uh, earlier on as well in the product model now one more function we are going to uh, create uh, to check the category status and this time i think we can also create this function uh in category model as well i'm going to check the category model uh, and we'll see that uh, uh, if we have such function get category name no we don't have such, such function uh, because i want to create this one inside category because it is related with the category we want to check that category is disabled or not okay so i will create this function inside the category here category model here public static function uh, get category name or get category status okay so here i'm create get category status dollar category id okay like this and here i am going to uh, see i will create one variable get category status and here category uh, and we'll select this uh, select the status here and we'll see like if the status is one or zero if one then it means that it is active if zero then it means it is uh, uh, it is inactive okay so here i will pass the category id see, uh, okay so this function we are going to use and we will use first to array first to array okay 
to array like this uh, okay so here like this okay so return uh, dollar get category status like this okay so here uh, we can straight away uh, just send the status there like this okay we can simply send the status there if you don't want to use two array because here there is no requirement to use the two array because we are not using any kind of array function so yeah so then you can simply send the status like this like we used for other okay so it will also work like this okay so get category status so this uh, function uh, we are going to use uh, inside the uh, checkout function uh, that is located in the product controller at the front and we need to modify the checkout function once again uh, after the post method here you can see the prevent sold or products to order prevent disabled attributes to order and here prevent disable category products to order prevent disable categories products to order is products to order okay so now see uh, here we are going to check the category status okay uh, the uh, function that we have made get category status this one but here we are going to use the category model okay so here i'm going to get category status going to use the get category status variable once again and here i will get the status from the category get category status and here i'm going to send the category id and that is coming in the product model here dollar item then inside product we have earlier also used and then inside product there will be category id okay so this one we're going to use and here the result will come like if category status uh, uh, see it will directly show like this get category status okay we are going to pick it get category status uh, here equal to equal to if it is equal to zero okay then uh, we are going to use the same thing we are going to delete the product and we are going to show the error message and we are going to show the image one of the product uh, attribute one of the product is disabled like this one one of the product is disabled please try again so we are going to check this one now okay i am going to add one of the product but before that i am going to enable the categories and will disable them again i am going to pick one of the product here and uh, see i need to refresh because it is not showing the uh, disabled categories now we have enabled now it will show the categories and we are going to purchase the product okay small add to card view card uh, proceed to checkout now now i'm going to disable now okay so here we are going to disable the uh, here all the links okay like this okay all, all these all the categories and subcategories that are related to the t-shirts okay so now i will try to order for the disabled category products now this t-shirts category is disabled now i'm going to place the order and let's see what will happen place order it is taking the user back to the card paid with the error message one of the product is disabled please try again okay so the product has been already deleted from the card okay so if in case you don't want the product to get deleted from the card you want to tell the user that which product is having issues so that the user can himself delete the product from the card okay so so that thing we are going to do now so in this case uh, we are going to uh, will not use the delete card product okay and uh, we are going uh, for the different message mm, okay uh, so we will not use that instead of this message we are going to uh, use the different message and uh, we will redirect back to the card page uh, with error message uh, so uh, here in this case if you want don't want to remove the item uh, we will send the product details uh, so we will send the product name okay so complete product information we are having here so here we are going to uh, pick product and then product name that is coming in product array okay product name and uh, uh, with side okay we are going to have it side as well with dollar item size okay 
okay so here uh, we need to match like this size is not available like this please remove this uh, please move from card please remove from card and choose some other product other product okay like this so we can add this for all okay uh, we can disable uh, the earlier message so it's your wish you want to use this one or you want to uh, use this one without removing the product okay so for all we can simply use uh, uh, this one in this case we will not remove the product from the card okay so we can do this for all like this okay so now in this case what will happen uh, like uh, uh, i'm going to enable the categories now okay so i'm going to refresh here going to add the product into card okay i'm going to add the product into card now and see small add to card and view view card then click on checkout okay so while reaching here i am going to uh i'm going to uh see make the categories disabled okay so t-shirts okay i'm going to make the category disabled now and now see click on cash on delivery and place order and this time what will happen the item will not move but the error message will uh, come uh, and the user can himself manually delete the item after checking which, which of the item is having issue okay we are going to click on place order so see we are clearly telling the user red casual t-shirt so this is the red casual t-shirt small side also we're telling the user that small side is not available please remove from card and choose some other product okay so like if there are multiple items okay uh, like if i'm going to add one more item uh, to the card and uh, after that like let me add the mobile device this time okay i'm going to add the mobile this time along with the t-shirt okay uh so uh like in this case uh so i'm going for the checkout uh, and i'm going to try to place the order with the mobile as well as the t-shirt and in this case what will happen here see it is clearly telling the user that which product is having the issue the red casual t-shirt with small size is having the issue give some space after t-shirt here uh after t-shirt give some space here okay so here we need to give some space uh, with uh, now it is fine uh, with all okay like this uh, like this and like this okay so now once again i'm going to try okay so i'm going to try here proceed to check out and we'll try to place the order with these two products and one of the product is not available and we are giving the error message here they are the card page like red casual t-shirt with small size is not available please remove from card and choose some other product so the user can see okay this product is not available i am going to remove this manually he will click here are you sure you want to delete this card item yes okay so we have deleted now for this product we can able to place the order okay and it will uh, create no issue we can move further uh, we have deleted that item now we can successfully create a place order for the another product okay so it is sending mail it will take few seconds and the order will finally get placed okay you can able to see the thanks page here so the main thing is that we need to uh, to disable the products that are not available and we will not uh, the order must not come for those orders otherwise the issue will come so uh, so this one you can try at your end and one uh, two bugs also we're going to resolve uh see first bug is uh i will tell you like uh, if the uh if i am log out okay yeah, and and the user adds one product to the card i am going to enable first of all these categories i'm going to refresh here and see uh if i have added one product in card and the user is not logged in and after that the after that the user logged in then this product automatically uh, gets uh, uh, gets created in his card gets uh, uh, means updated in his card okay so here i'm going to uh, log in with one of the id here see uh, the uh, his card automatically updates with that uh, product that he already added before login but once he log out 
uh, this uh, his card must uh, uh, get expired means uh, this uh, product also must go away okay so in this scenario if you want to do like this then you just require to update the logout function in users controller at the front here you just require to update the user logout function and in this scenario you just required uh, to add here uh, that uh, syntax of session logout okay session flush session flush here so it means that once the user log out the complete session destroy okay so now see once the user uh, is having such a product okay so i'm going to log in once again okay i'm going to show you like after i log in i have get this product because this product is already added by the user earlier on and now uh, if the user log out then this product will go away okay because if the another user comes in then he needs to add his own products now you can see it is empty okay its card is completely empty so uh, this one you can just update the session flush in the user logout uh, function to resolve this issue okay and uh, one more thing i want to show you uh, like uh, if uh, uh, the uh, if the user is going to add one of the product like see and uh, and he make uh, like will select one of the side and he make the quantity zero and click on add to card then you can see in card we able to add the zero quantity product so that is wrong so the quantity must be at least one so in that case we are going to modify the card add function that we have used earlier and simply add here in post method uh, we will simply add like uh, if the quantity is less than zero we are going to update it to one at least we are going to update it to one like dollar data uh, we are i having the quantity here okay and if it is less than or equal to zero then we are going to update it to at least one okay so simple thing we are going to add this condition if the quantity is less than or equal to zero we are going to make it one okay so if the next time I'm going to delete this one and we'll try to add again. See if the user will add the product with the zero quantity, it automatically updates to one. See if the user make it like small, user make it zero, add to card, and see he will check in card. See with one quantity, the product has been added if the product is in stock. Okay, so uh, these two uh, bugs uh, are there, uh, minor bugs that you can resolve at your end. Okay. Uh, so also you can modify those security feature never order for the unavailable products okay so you can do this one uh, at your end and let me know if you will face any issue okay and also uh, do subscribe the channel stack developers and you can always join the channel uh, to get the complete source code once again i'm going to tell you youtube.com stack developers you just require to open youtube.com slash stack developers okay this is the channel name and you can subscribe the channel for more updates for more laravel updates we are the first to always uh, make the laravel updates okay and you can always join the channel to get the complete source code if you will get the source code you can compare your code uh, compare my code with your code and you can resolve the issues so it will be a great help for you you will get many laravel website including this one uh, to compare with your own website okay uh, with the complete support so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye